Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to another video as today I will be reacting to the fifth episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier and I hear this is going to be quite the big episode here and I thought it will probably create a big reaction so why not let's just do a reaction video to this and I cannot wait any longer let's just hop right into it The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Whew. That was a great fight. They awoke the beast. I'm telling you, name another studio intro out there that gets you more excited or as excited as the Marvel intro. Probably can't find one out there right now. Ooh, he's running. He's on the run, like Tom Cruise. <laughs> Gotta give Wyatt Russell some props, man. Guy can act. In this role, especially. Oh! <sighs> oh! of a war score. Ooh. Now with that tone. He held his ground there for a minute. Ooh. Jeez. <laughs> this is brutal, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they just did the Fast and Furious 6 move there. What a way to start the episode. <laughs> Oh man, it had a vibes of a final fight from Civil War between Iron Man Cap and Bucky. Oh man, pits are sweating. She's got people helping her from all over the world, on all platforms. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all the platforms. I, under, I understand that! I only ever did what you asked of me, what you told me to be and trained me to do, and I did it. And I did it well. I can feel your anger. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Who's this? These boots oh. are not. Excuse me. Who are you? A oh, Batman. It's time. To party. I legit thought there was a chance they were going to kill him off there. Kill him off there. Oh, there's that shot we've seen in the trailers. We will take him to the raft. Ooh. Lots of Wait, special people there. Stay. Special evil people. Hey. Hey. Let me have another favor to ask of you. <sighs> They're just teasing. They're just teasing. I like that we're going back to Isaiah. I'll be back there. Yeah. Oh, horrible shot. For the next 30 years, they experimented on me. We gotta do something. We gotta tell somebody. No, leave me dead. My name is buried. But the world's different now. I know people. Man, that's why you're here. You won't believe jail was my fault. Because you got that white man's shield. Pledge allegiance to that, my brother. They will never let a black man be Captain America. And even if they did, no self-respecting black man would ever want to be. 
really hires up the stakes here of this decision. But that actor that plays Isaiah, he does such a good job of really bringing out the strength and the agony of that character. How do we get it off the truck? Dig it. I like it. I like that he's there. This off. Mm, new wings. Oh. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I mean, do you ever expect to see two Avengers fixing a boat like Forrest Gump? I mean, <laughs> oh man, it just brings so much joy. set me up like that, huh? Wanna make it weird. <laughs> the people in this town are the most welcoming people in the world. Okay, I They're get it. How, I mean, the, you know, people are nice. <laughs> but don't flirt with my sister. <laughs> if you do, I'll have Carlos cut you up and feed you to the fish. You took that when I got back from my first tour. Outside he's nice and calm, but in the inside, Boy, is he flaming. Boy, is he flaming. I can give you double this time. I promise you won't regret saying yes. So what's it gonna be? Just teasing us. They're just teasing us. Hi, Sarah. I've told you specifically that this is not the problem, yet here you are. I think this is what went. Yep. Knew it. Shield practice. Stop looking to other people to tell you who you are. You want to climb out of that hell you're in. Do the work. Tell you the dialogue with the acting. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Good dialogue. Sorry. Be more specific. Good dialogue with good acting put together. It's pretty good. Oh. Trying to get all fancy. <laughs> oh. Thousand three D, I would have ducked. Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. Hmm. <laughs> They're really tricking me. With that shield tossing stuff. Keep on thinking he's gonna cut my head off. Now this episode's really getting a lot done with these characters. Oh. We knew he was going to come back. Uh, what? I can't promise you they're not using a VPN or masking your location, but I Great work, Joaquin. I'll take it from here. It's going to go down. It's going to go down. That make us wait to see him, huh? Probably until he puts him on in action. Which I probably will prefer. I think I might prefer that. Oh, man. That was the worst cliffhanger of the whole show. Of the whole show. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh. Okay, so it's now the next day, if you guys haven't noticed. And let's first start talking about the episode with the action scene that started it all off. And um, that action scene was so good. It was thrilling. It was exciting. The hand to hand combat, the breaking of the arm, the breaking of the wings like, whoa, whoa, there's some brutal stuff in there. And with the episode starting off so hot like how it did, I was expecting quite the action packed episode. And it wasn't. Now this episode felt like it was the eve of the big battle because usually in war films or television shows before there's a war, the night before the soldiers are usually camping around, sitting around, telling stories about their life, their background and everything. You get to know the, the, the characters 
and that's what this episode felt like as it spent a lot of time having nice little comedic heartfelt moments throughout the episode like Bucky showing up uh, and helping Sam with the boat. It also spent time with one-on-one -on -one conversations between uh, the, the characters, you know, whether they're talking about Sam and Isaiah and so on. And not only was it, not only were they just conversations, but it was good dialogue, it was good acting, it was good scenes. And it also focused on what role some of these characters are gonna play in, whether it's the future of this show or the future of the MCU, you know, whether it's Zemo going to the raft or Sharon uh, looks like she's cooking something up for the finale or John Walker most likely teaming up with some mysterious human that we're yet to meet and I liked that this episode spent so much time focusing on the characters their arcs these dialogue scenes and so on and so forth because not only was it enjoyable but it's also not going to make the finale feel like a jam sandwich like they're shoving so much in into one episode and I liked that and and they set up the finale very well with this episode and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm sure it's going to be an absolute thrill ride, action packed, and I think the action in the finale will most likely be even more elevated because of this time that we got to spend with the characters and it won't feel like a million things is happening all at once, or, or I should say are happening all at once. But overall, those are my thoughts of this episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Tell me down in the comment section below of what you think of the fifth episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And are you excited to see how it all ends next week? And with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe because that is very important. You can also follow me at The One Man Crew on Instagram or at AD The Movie Man on Letterboxd or Twitter. And as always in every single video, look out for the next video or review, and peace.